Good morning, it's Friday, October 20th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Leading by Circular Logic. And our scripture is 1 Peter chapter 5, where the fisherman writes, And now a word to you who are elders in the churches. I too am an elder and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and I too will share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. As a fellow elder, I appeal to you, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another, for God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Apostle Peter addresses elders, leaders in God's church, with instruction on how to lead. This instruction is mostly about the attitude of a leader. Notice the words the big fisherman uses about the tenderness with which a church leader leads the flock entrusted to him. Care, watch over, lead by example. And then Peter closes the door on the matter with the fact that humility covers all of it. Now there are two caveats we must add to this leadership seminar of Peter's. The first is that leaders cannot lead this way unless followers follow this way. And secondly, true followers will follow if leaders lead this way. Every instruction God ever gave is predicated on the truth of God's creation. Those upon whom God places his call to lead in the church must respond to God's call by leading selflessly, caring for the flock without pursuing personal gain. Those who follow must respond expecting to follow. It's a form of circular logic and requires trust or faith in all directions. Circular logic, or circular reasoning, is most often defined in a pejorative or belittling sense. With those for whom logic is the only acceptable pathway to do anything, the idea of faith must never cloud the issue or the facts. That person would say about God, prove to me that God exists. Believers answer that without faith, defined as a blind leap without proof, it is impossible to prove that God exists. But if you believe, you trust that he's real, you will have all the proof you need. Another way to express that is from the atheist view. An atheist says, I won't believe in God until I see him. A believer responds, you'll never see him until you believe. The same is true in the leadership slash followership issue that Peter presented in his epistle. The skeptical Christian says, I won't trust or follow unless that leader is proven worthy. God's word replies, have faith, and by your faith I'll make that leader worthy. For you today, is faith a form of circular logic? Absolutely. It begins with, in the beginning God. It flows through, for God so loved that he gave. And it ends full cycle with, even so, come Lord Jesus. Circular logic may make the hair stand up on the back of a scientist's or philosopher's neck, but faith begins in the heart of a human being created by God for his glory and our good. It won't float in this world's view, but for those who respond in faith, they will see God face to face. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.